uh, Ed and I are down in Florida and we're hanging out with Shannon Larkin and you may know him as the drummer from Godsmack but we know him as an avid turtle enthusiast. Yes. <laughs> so today we're gonna check out his collection of turtles. <laughs> So before we check them out, I do want to ask, how, what got you into turtles so much? You have amazing species here. Well, I, I initially got into koi pond, and I, I got a koi pond, got super into koi fish, and then one of my buddies, and Eric and Andrea Weiger, they had a, a big natural pond with a bunch of turtles, and decided, you know what? I love these, these creatures. They're like little dinosaurs. I just fell in love with them. And so I'm like, I'm going to make their own pond, and that ended up being this which I made myself by myself. Did you I, really? You dug this I out? Mean, Did it go okay building your own? You know, it went great. And the thing that I, I, I forgot was an overflow. Oh. And so now when it rains, you see around the filter box, this is where the liner comes up. And so that's where if it, if it, if it rains too much and then it overflows into here, then it gets underneath the liner. And so it caved all the, my whole pond in. I had to totally take it apart and rebuild it already once. Well, now we have the dry months here in Florida. So I'm gonna have time and I'm gonna, I can make an overflow go out that side of it. So I have to do that. But other than that, you know, it's pH balance. The water is clear as a bathtub. And, yeah, it looks great now. And maintenance, I just have to drain it once a month and, okay. and take the hose to it. And then boom, I get clarity for a month, month and a half. That's not too bad. No. So just once a month maintenance. And yeah. You know, there's 19 turtles in here, and I, I got three eastern musk turtles, and then two just mud turtles that came to me from the neighborhood. Oh. I mean, wild, you know, mud turtles ended up in my pond. I think the wild turtles learned you were giving out handouts. Yeah. And wanted to be a part of it. <laughs> yes, they smelled that. That guy right there. Oh yeah, look at him. him. He is a male Mexican ornate slider. Wow. And I have a big female who's hiding in one of the caves. These things, if you get two missing map turtles, they hang out together. And the, the two uh, Peninsula River cooters, they, they stay together. Like all the Eastern musk turtles, the three of them, they're always like, you know, Larry, Moe, wow. and Curly, I call them. <laughs> I can't tell them apart. So at any moment, they're Larry or Moe or Curly. But, <laughs> oh, and there we get a glimpse of the Peninsula River cooter from the Louisiana area. Oh yeah. As we're looking at that one, there's a foot of a turtle in that cave right there. Yeah, and there's another cave next to it with another foot. Yep. Hey, buddy. He, uh, he's super gnarly. Oh, those are super long claws. But look at those claws. Oh, this yeah. This one, his name is Jason, which doesn't make sense, but the other one was I named Freddy for the claws, Freddy Krueger. <laughs> and so Jason just went Freddy and Jason, so he became Jason. It's all right, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> I have chicken turtles that were either given to me. One is a cute story because my neighbor found it and he called me up and said, hey, I found a turtle, you might want it, or you might not. If you don't, cool, I'll keep it in my pond. And I went over and it, it was a three-legged one. And so it lost a leg to a bird or, or something, a predator. Aww. And I thought, like, yes, I want it. So I, have, I call him Little Three Leg. Oh, he's so, in here? Yeah, Little Three Leg. Aww. Here. So this is one of your chicken turtles, was it? That is. Okay, so I'm not familiar with chicken turtles. What are- Chicken turtles are indigenous to this area of Florida, so they're wild out here. And you see they're unfortunately the ones you'll see on dad on the side of the road a lot because oh. they just, they're constant wanderers turtles. Hmm. All of my turtles, that's why you see multiple fencing around here. Yep. Started with the little one, then I put the big bamboo. They can, they can climb really good. The, the chicken turtles and the African side necks, by mm. the way, are super mellow demeanored. And so they, they get along well with each other? Yeah. yeah unless they're <laughs> out. Yeah, well, look at that. They're... Oh yeah, he's not he's too sick. happy. I know, I'm sorry. Yeah, we took you out of the that. pond. <laughs> Do the chicken turtles have names at all? Do you know, and I'll tell you, I'll warn you this. When I first picked up the chicken turtle, one of their defense mechanisms is they pop all four limbs and their head out of their shell quickly and, 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 and hiss. So they go, <laughs> and and I, dro I dropped the tur the three legged oh, the three legged turtle did it, three legs, <laughs> and I went oh my god oh Jesus I dropped the turtle, 
<laughs> so it works. So that's, it works. It's, it, and that's really, I mean, I haven't looked that up, but every single one that, even when her friends gave me the one and I took it, it went, and I, I, I was prepared that time. I go, man, that's what they do. They I'm, scare off a predator, like if something grabs it, you know? Wow, that's I had crazy. no idea <laughs> that was their defense mechanism. Is that why they, is that, does that have something to do with why they're called chicken turtles? I have no clue. I, I do know that I would assume they're called that because they also have super long necks. Oh. Even a longer than all of my turtles in there. Once they're out basking, they'll put their, his neck will come out that far. Oh, jeez. Like so like out. that. Holy yeah. cow. Yeah. I guess chickens have long necks too, so. Right. <laughs> so that's what I'm thinking, that the chicken turtle. Wow. Yeah. Huh. Does he have little uh, spirals on his feet? Spirals? Like back here, yeah. Oh, wow. oh he does. <laughs> Look at that. That is so cool. I did not notice that. He's beautiful and just a there clean yellow plaster on. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, I'll put you back, little dude. Yep. We'll You're... stop bothering you. Yeah, I, guess. And I have not named, by the way, him and one other wild one that I got. Oh. Chicken turtles, but the mm. the one with three leg, obviously, is little tree leg. Yep, yep, little three leg. But, uh, <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, and I, I oh. haven't named them yet. Here you go, buddy. Want to go back in? I suppose they have all sorts of. I mean, you feed them the shrimp and the pellets. But they also pellets. have natural bugs to eat in here too, don't they? Natural bugs, and you know, I give them romaine lettuce. Oh, yep. And I give them strawberries, and I cut up little chunks of tuna for like treats, you know. Wow. Uh, and only, only. Lucky like, turtles. They yeah. get chopped up fresh tuna. Yeah. Man, can we live here for a little bit? We yeah. really like sushi. I'll, I'll stay here for fresh tuna. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things I really like about what you did is those caves. We've always seen those caves as caves for snakes and things like that, but you're, you've incorporated them into the turtle pond and the turtles use them. They love them. <laughs> turtles are very uh, shy creatures. They were out basking earlier today, but yeah, now that it's cooled down and a yeah. little bit later. But even basking, most of them, if I walk by or if anyone walks by, they all jump in and, and run for those caves to hide. Hmm. But other ones will completely not run from you. So, and, and I've started to see that the chicken turtles, by the way, aren't as afraid. And the Mexican ornates and the Rio Grandes, they'll bask too. Okay. And not, not run. But as soon as I walk out, any of the smaller, uh, like the Eastern musks and the mud turtles and the Mississippi map turtles, they all immediately go in. Who is this? This is Cher. Cher, the yellow belly. Sonny and Cher are her, the, the, the pair. That's amazing. We raised her. She was, I got her, she was the size of a quarter. Oh, how old is she now? Uh, about a year. Wow. Well, the really nice thing about keeping these outdoors is their shells are so smooth. Yeah. Like, yeah. they have all that natural light on their shells all the time. They look amazing. She's cool. She knows who I am, and she understands that I pick her up and not hurt her, you know? That's trust right there. Yeah, that's reaching in. Just reaching into a hole in the, the pond. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. musk turtle. What? Wait till he puts his head out. They look like little dinosaurs. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. Look at this dude. Look at that. <laughs> that's the same species we have up at home. We have a couple of these guys. Look at you. So these are also called stink pots, right? Or at least up north, we call them stink pots. They're, they're noted for the, the stripes along their face, which are so pretty. They're so pretty. They're and like they're, they're dinosaurs. Right? And yeah. their ability to musk on you. Yeah, they'll smell really bad when they're scared. Oh. Like, I wonder if you... Uh... I never... Uh... <laughs> yeah, he doesn't smell too bad. He must not be too scared right now. <laughs> He's probably like, I'm cold. Yeah, yeah. probably. <laughs> oh, wow. Shannon also built a sandy area under this bridge so that if the turtles want to nest, they have an area to lay their eggs. And right now, oh, there's she, he, there's. That is an African side neck. I'm not sure male or female. Oh, look at you. <laughs> you are totally buried in the sand. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I think they, are they both down here, you think? Oh, yeah, there's <laughs> the other one. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait, is there, is there another turtle here? Oh, there's yep, a mud there. turtle. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so cool that you offer this sandy area for them. Wow. wow that was, they buried themselves that deep. That was really in. <laughs> And so you'll take them out, clean them off, feed them, and they they just go right back and in here. Come right back in here and bury us. <laughs> Look at that. That's not a mud turtle. Yeah, that's a musk. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> you oh, found you a know. turtle! Yay! <laughs> it's like digging for treasure. <laughs> Here's one of the African side necks that was buried we'll, in the sand. We'll take her over. Oh sure, okay. Yeah. We'll bury the others. Yeah, it's the other funny that the earth is warm down there. Like. Oh, it, maybe that's why. Yeah, it's yeah. chilly out here. They figured, they, they found where it's warm. 
I know when these are sold at pet stores, they call them side necks, but they could either be an African side neck or an African helmeted turtle. So we, we kind of looked it up and since this one has a hinge and can close, this is in fact a side neck, which is a more docile species, whereas the helmeted isn't as friendly. So that oh. might be why there's reports of some being mean. It's actually the helmeted from oh. the pet stores, but it was labeled under a side neck. So that anyway. That makes sense. I, I, these are the only two. I went into a Petco and I saw you know, African side necks and I felt so bad for them. I was mm -hmm. like, and they were only like, I don't know, 20 bucks, 30 bucks yeah. or something. And there was just two of them and there was no light in there. Aww. And it, I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy these things <laughs> and, and I'm going to give them a chance in nature and just put them in the pond. Uh oh yeah, the must turtle's oh, out over there too. Crawling oh. out from oh. under the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Like he woke me up, now yeah. I'm hungry. Yes, I might as well go get a snack. Yeah. Wow, he knows right where to go, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. How graceful are they? I think we're gonna find I'm out. I'm guessing not amazingly. Oh. Oh. There you go. <laughs> They're so Off fun to away. watch. Well, I think we've seen all the species that we can take out. So yeah. can we check out your koi? Absolutely, let's do it. All right, so I know your love of turtles was sparked after your love of koi and it was kind of the yes. koi that got you into turtles so what got you into koi um man i've always had some kind of infatuation with koi fish uh i'm, I'm you know heavily tattooed and a lot of most beautiful tattoos on the planet are of koi fish you mm -hmm. know and then i you know i got super into like yoga 10 years ago you know yoga is a lot of a mind thing uh, over a body thing you mm -hmm. know what i mean and um in a lot of japanese culture koi fish are used for zen meditation and yogic purposes you know and so huh. yoga kind of led me to wanting to actually get these fish and make a pond that's really neat and and Look what you've created. Yeah. You have an entire river through your backyard. <laughs> yeah, I think wow. my favorite one is this guy right here. That butterfly? Yeah. That beautiful fish's name is pumpkin head because it was black, three inches long with an orange head. Then the and then it grew into that perfect, <laughs> like wow. it's just really one of the most perfect koi I've seen. Now your pond started with just the section by the turtle pond, right? And then your COVID project was uh, yeah. creating the lazy river throughout. Yes. And then this part is new too? Yeah, this is new too. This was a fountain area. And ironically, see, I had had the idea to put a second koi pond out here. And then that's when my buddy goes, you should connect the two ponds with the river through your yard. Ha ha, laughing. And I'm like... Is that feasible? You know, can I, can, I <laughs> can this that? happen? <laughs> and, then, and sure enough, man, we got Benny in on it and yeah, made it happen. All under 30 grand, if you can believe that. That's not bad for yeah. how big this is know, and how nice. Wow. It's because though we, we did everything ourselves. We I'm 53 years old. I've never worked harder physically in my life. <laughs> oh, I bet. I've heard this... ponds are hard work. My favorite might be the yellow one. What was that one's name again? Beyonce. Beyonce, that's right. I think Beyonce. I got, I got that fish with the huge black fish, who's Jay-Z. Jay-Z. <laughs> and then Beyonce. And then and I got that white fish with butterflies. Yep. Which, by the way, it's right one. You can see it only had one when I got it. Now it's, it grew out, but you can still see it's not... It's kind of... So it's got a lucky fin. Yeah, so, and so Solange, who's Beyonce's sister in real life. So it's got, I got Jay-Z, Beyonce, and Solange. So I, named, <laughs> I named the trio that day. I love it. Well, Shannon, thank you so much for showing us your turtles and your koi. I know we have some fans of Godsmack who are probably watching this, so for all of them who are probably wondering, what's new with Godsmack uh, after the pandemic hit anyway? Well... Yeah, we were we were luckily at the end of our Legends Rise tour. We'd been out there for a year and a half, so we lucked out when the when the pandemic hit. We had gotten to to go and present our music to the world, you know, before it hit. Luckily, mm -hmm. and uh, but that said, we still had six months that we were planning to do in America. We had some shows with Metallic, all these cool things that got canceled because of the pandemic. So we did what we had to do, which was just put our heads down and start writing. We're gonna take 2021 and write as much as we can and record the new record in the fall. And so basically not tour all next year. Okay, just work just, from home work on a new record. And just write, try and make the best music we can make and get it recorded to release early in 2022 and tour, 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 oh, which okay. we miss, miss, miss. 
that was, that's like the payoff for us musicians is getting to play it live in front of people. So that's a good way to spend your time though here, just writing music. Yes. And yes. so, and it's cool for me because I don't have to tour and I, I can be with my turtles and fish every single day. Yeah. Well, your studio is right here on your property. So True that, that's so. fantastic. And it looks amazing, by the way. Well, <laughs> Everything here looks amazing. So well, thank, thank you again. You. Well, thanks for having me. This is awesome. Well, as always, we'd like to thank our amazing Patreon backers for allowing us to make some fun trips like this and to meet Shannon. We've been texting for a while, but we finally got to meet. Yeah, and cool. uh, this uh, I've been looking forward to meeting all your turtles, too. So this is just incredible. So thank you, everybody. Thank you, everyone who's here watching as well. And we'll see you next time. All right, and here we have Emily filming. <laughs> it's like the Matrix. Matrix? Inception. Inception. Yeah, I'm Inception. filming the Emily filming the video. The fountain looks so cool. Yeah, it does. Okay. The rock is good. <laughs> <laughs> I almost went into the, the lazy river here. Yeah, I was going to ask if anybody had ever fallen into the river, but uh, I'll have to find Shannon. <laughs> <laughs>